There is an area of political activity, and for about a hundred years, and in all political argument and controversy today, there is a basic assumption that only two kinds of interests or entities operate in the area of political action, that is, individuals and the government. There have been numerous books published with such titles as Man Versus the State. I know two of those. They both appeared, I think, in 1960. We hear about big government as a threat to the individual, and so forth and so forth. Conservatives now are telling us that we must curtail government, cut government spending, cut government powers, reduce government personnel for the sake of making individuals more free. Liberals, on the other hand, are still telling us, as they have for a long, long time, that in order to make individuals free, we must destroy communities. By communities, I mean villages, ghettos and cities, ethnic groupings, religious groupings, anything which is segregated, we must destroy them so that all individuals would be, if possible, identical, including boys and girls. But the area of political action, and I won't draw it on here, but just assume a circle of political action in which you have government individuals acting in there, but you also have at least two other groups, really three others, voluntary associations, which I'll say no more about, corporations, and communities. And if the liberals destroy communities for the sake of the individual, and the conservatives destroy big government for the sake of individuals, you're going to have an area of political action in which irresponsible and immensely powerful corporations are engaged in opposition to individuals who are socially naked and indefensible.